Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a unboxing to do for you. So, ah, this one comes by way of Asher Knife Co. So uh, they got some new stuff coming out, and uh, Justin over there was kind enough to send me some stuff. So let's check it out. We're using the CMB Knives Zetsu to unbox it. He had a new model he wanted to show me. All right. So we got three things in here, I think. Ooh. All right. Sweet. All right. Since it's out, let's just take a look at this fixed blade. So this is a fixed blade. I don't know if this is a prototype or a um, production. I'll get info on it for a rapid or uh, overview video or whatever. Really cool looking blade, just a, a simple drop point, but I like the aggressive nature of it. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of that, what was that Kaiser one? I can't remember, but the number one thing that bugs me on fixed blades a lot of times is the handle length. A lot of times they give you such a short handle because they're obviously trying to make it a smaller package, which you do want, but I want to be able to get a full grip on the knife and this gives you a full purchase it's really nice as a uh friend of mine would say a full purchase no refund <laughs> go check out knife dope great channel um you got a little uh, sharpening troll right here which is very cool um interesting i've never really seen a, a termination like or a was this the ricasa i don't know what the hell you call this thing uh, but this little thing juts out down here but then they got the uh, sharpening choil there see the plunge grind looks like it ends a little bit yeah you got you got room there for sure sharpen up um feels sharp i don't know who the oem is on the fixed blade um i know kun Wu's doing a lot of his folders but this feels excellent in the hand the jimping is nice i think i would like to see a little jimping up here too because i do kind of like to rest my thumb up sometimes um but you can get into a pinch grip um, it's got a little weight to it, but I mean, it's a fixed blade. It's a full tang, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume for the time being that it's uh, S35VN. Justin loves S35VN. And uh, for good reason. It's a good steal, and you can get it at a good price. I love this clip. Um, it's just nice to see something that doesn't have uh, the crazy belt stuff going on. This is meant to just go in your pocket now. Is it set up for lefty? Yes, it is set up for lefty, so we can uh, take a shot at it here. See what see what it looks like, feels like. Let's see, I'm wearing shorts, so it's a little bit harder to get it in. It's on an angle, so she said. Um, don't know why. There we go. Okay, so sits in your pocket. Comes out, goes back in, I assume. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Um, it's a little awkward in my shorts because I got the angles on them. But, um, I, you know, and I'm also sitting right now. So as soon as I get a chance, it's, <laughs> the clip does not want to go anywhere. That's for sure. Uh, it's got a little hook. I'll show you in a second. As soon as I get it off my damn pants. Um, so it has a little hook right there. I didn't see that right away. Um, so it is not coming out of your pants. See that right there? Once you get it over, it's it's in when you yank out, which is nice. I like that. Um, yeah, I like the whole concept here. Very, very cool. I don't know the name of this. Um, I will list everything I can down below. You can use my code over at asherknives.com, lefty10. Uh, one of the OGs of the lefty10 code. I've known Justin... Uh, and Asher since Asher Knife Co. since before I even started the channel. Um, back when it was just an Instagram page. Um, so, come a long way. And I, I really appreciate Justin for letting me check out his stuff along the way. Let's check this one out. So, this one is uh, the liner lock. So, he made a Spiro liner lock um so we've seen a g10 spiro liner lock before not with a hole um but one of the first prototypes i have is g10 um s35 
this is 20 CB. Uh, and it's a Spiro, but this is a completely different knife at this point almost. Dead nut centered. Man, that feels good. Being left-handed, having that uh, inset lock is just, ooh, nice detent. That inset lock just really helps a lot. Um, and it's still nice and thin. He likes, a, he likes a thin knife, and I appreciate that as well. You got some contouring. A lot of good updates here. We got the wire clip, um, and we got great action on this knife. This is a winner right here. No play, no rock, Stonewash 20 CV. I mean, what more can you ask for? You know, I wonder what these will cost, 130 bucks or something like that. Maybe 150 but it's uh, 20 CV, so... Uh, this is excellent. Very, very good. It is a little weighty. I will say that. It's got a little heft to it. It'd be nice to see. There is milling. So, is it steel liners? That might be why. I mean, obviously, it's steel liners. Why did I even ask that? Yeah, but that, that'll give you the weight there, you know. Um, obviously, titanium is going to be a bit expensive. And you even have a, a G10 backspacer, so... It, it, he tried to make it light. Maybe it just feels like it in my hand. I'll have to weigh it. But, man, this is nice. Yeah, I really, really like this. So that's the uh, Spiro with whole G10. I don't even know. The names don't even matter anymore. And here we have, um, let me see. This would be, what would this be? A Spiro crossbar lock i guess i was thinking uh nomad 4.0 or something 3.0 but no this is uh, i believe the um spiro again should be the same design yeah there you go um this one has a hole obviously so i definitely prefer this because it has a detent it's got the liner lock um this has the crossbar lock uh, i will say one thing i don't uh, love about it off the bat is the nubs don't stick out very far and it's kind of maybe it's just an adjustment but it feels awkward not having you know like you have to kind of dig in and pull on them uh, which is interesting you have a clamshell construction I should say mono block sort of like yeah mono block because this is the backspacer it's a, it's part of the front scale um Wire clip. He's doing a lot of wire clip lately, which is cool. Wire clip's good. Um, I did like the design he had mounting the clip on the rear, but he does that on the titanium models. This is S35. I mean, it works. It's not like, you know, you can't grab it, but it just feels a little awkward. Uh, let me grab something else. Um, like, here's our prototype of the Growler with an axis lock. And I'm assuming these are both, because uh, this is Kun Wu, actually, so I think this is Kun Wu as well. But you see how the tabs stick out? So you grab them and pull them down. It's just a little bit, just a little bit easier, I think, than having to kind of pinch inside. Um, here's a Kaiser clutch lock. You'll see they stick out and you just pull it down. Um, here is a, I got a lot of crossbar locks apparently. Here's a uh, Benchmade, same thing, right? And then here you got to kind of adjust, it's like flush almost. Um, but I'm getting used to it actually. Nice reverse flick. Um, the spring is good. It, it's not strong, but it's definitely not weak. So it's somewhere in the middle. Um, I like that. And, uh, yeah. As usual, Spiro design is solid. This one's a little thicker. Uh, crossbar lock, I guess, maybe. Um, but it definitely feels a little thicker. So I am in love with this one right here. This one's going in my pocket immediately. He's got the lefty clip set up. He always does that. Always appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Um, so there we have it. We have the Spiro with whole uh g10 and 20 cb that's gonna be a hit man it's gonna be a huge hit you have the spiro crossbar lock a lot of people love crossbar locks i'm not really one of them so that does play a part there and then we have this beautiful fixed blade don't know the name of it yet but um very comfortable in the hand the sheath 
uh, I should mention, is fantastic. There's no play. And, I mean, you can pop it off of there real easy with a thumb flick. Um, and I really love this clip situation. Probably best with something like jeans or, or khakis, not my super thin uh, short material. Um, plus, I think, you know, you're going to have this much of the handle sticking out of your pocket. So, you, you know, of course, got to play that. But, uh, yeah, awesome stuff from Asher. Thank you, Justin. Let me know what you guys think. Check out uh, asherknives.com. Use code LEFTY10. He uh, will be dropping stuff as he gets it, as he has more items. He always does drops. If you want to be able to get them, because a lot of people tell me, man, I gave up. I just can't. Every time they drop something, they're gone before I get there. Sign up for the newsletter. Go on their website, asherknives.com. Sign up for the newsletter. And he always sends an email out ahead of time, and he says, hey, email list folks get in early. And he gives you like a code or something and uh, or a link in the email, and then you can click and you get first access to drops. So if you're not on that email list and you've been trying to get Asher's, that's probably your problem. So go check that out. Um, but anyway, thanks, Justin. Love you, dude. And um, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.